one. Hello friends, I'm Hasan Raja and I'm back with one more information and today we will talk about pronoun part. So today how about pronoun that we have to understand. So in short we have to talk some important information related to pronoun. First information that pronoun is used only for noun. In GMAT no pronoun can exist without noun. So the first noun then pronoun. Point number one. Point number two any pronoun that seems to refer more than one noun is always incorrect. So no pronoun should refer to nouns. That's called ambiguity and always should be eliminated. Remember the important pronoun that Jimmy generally ask about it and they. So when we use it, it should be always singular and it should be for non-living. It's been object. They is used for plural and remember, it is used for both living and non-living. Remember, very important information. They is common for living, non-living, it only for non-living. It is singular, they is plural, all right, and he, she for living being. But GMAT doesn't ask question about he and she, never asked, only asks about it and they, 90% cases. Next important information is whenever there is who, after who, there must be verb. Second information for who is, it is used always for human being. Next is which, that's also the part of the pronoun, for which we can use as a conjunction and uh, we can use as a complement too, I mean which plus verb and which without verb. It can be used in both condition. In case of whom, remember whom is never used without subject there must be subject with it so who plus verb but rule for whom it should be who plus subject plus verb in case of that it is same like which it can be used for both remember some common points who only for human being which and that can be used for both live which is used only for non-living, that can be used for both living, non-living. The most important point, in case any pronoun that seems to refer more than one noun, in that case, noun should be repeated rather than using pronoun. And next important point, if any sentence follow one as a subject in that case the family of one should be followed like one once once you your yours they their them that's called the family it should be followed so these are some important point for pronoun